Good morning, Atlanta, and happy Monday to you all. I'm Carolyn Potluck with Sports Radio 790 The Zone, and it is time for your weekend sports rewind. First off, Georgia's making waves this weekend by trying to fill their void at defensive coordinator by offering the job to Alabama's defensive coordinator, Kirby Smart. The deal would pay Smart over $700,000 a year and make him the third highest paid assistant in college football. Speaking of getting paid, Vlad Guerrero is doing just that. He just signed a brand new one-year $6 million deal with the Texas Rangers. Vlad isn't the only person making big deposits, however. Cuban defector Geraldus Chapman just signed a five-year $30 million deal with the Cincinnati Reds. Okay, this guy just got $30 million and has never pitched a game in the majors. Chapman, if you're listening, let me hold something till I come up. Tennessee was able to do something this season that no other team has done. They beat Kansas 76-68. Speaking of the balls, congratulations to Tennessee alum Peyton Manning for winning his NFL record fourth MVP. Congratulations are also in order for the Baltimore Ravens as they went into Foxborough over the weekend and dominated the New England Patriots 33-14. In the ex-USC quarterback bowl, the student topped the teachers Mark Sanchez and the New York Jets beat Carson Palmer and the Cincinnati Bengals 24-14. Speaking of USC, they are now looking for a new head coach as Pete Carroll looks to be on his way to Seattle to coach the Seahawks. I guess he wants to prove he can fail three times in the NFL. In other hiring news, Tommy Tuberville has been brought in to coach Texas Tech. Hopefully he won't lock any kids in the closet. Kurt Warner announced he will likely retire at the end of the year. But the person who really needs to retire is Charles Barkley from acting after his horrible performance on Saturday Night Live. And the line is, you can't handle my privates. <laughs> Incorrect. Be that as it may, you cannot handle them, so keep your hand to yourself. No one was asking. You can never be too safe, Reg. I was looking for the truth. I told you the truth. You can't handle my privates. Charles, please, your acting is worse than your golf swing. <laughs> in good news, Georgia Tech meets Duke on Saturday, and in bad news, Derek Jeter is officially off the market as he is newly engaged to actress Minka Kelly. And finally, wait for it, wait for it, pop champagne and light the fireworks, Dallas Cowboys have won their first playoff game since 1996. Oh, yeah, and Alabama won this little thing called the BCS National Championship. Okay, roll call. Well, guys, that concludes this week's edition of the Weekend Sports Rewind. I'm Carolyn Potluck with Sports Radio 790 The Zone. See you next week. Until next time, here's looking at you, kid. You shouldn't be looking at kids, Rich.